think that's just 35. <laughs> I can't get my fucking glasses on. Yeah. Okay. Seventy seven point seven. I'm going to go to the 
spot we bring the rods tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know, no, this doesn't look like the like the right fucking thing. No, I guess we should have got the other one. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think that bridge is there.
just as much as people else does. What? Imagine deer use these trails just as much as anybody else does.
There's a few cars parked down here. <laughs> uh, no moose at all. No moose at all. Yep, there's, this is the first time I've been here in 30 years I didn't have a canoe with me. This is my favorite jumping off spot into Algonquin, the Tim River access. Boy, it's dusty in here though. Jeez, fire hazard is absolute extreme. And, uh, Everything's tinder dry in the bush. You're camping in here and you don't have a cook stove with you. Propane or uh, Coleman or something like that. You're screwed because you can't have a fire. And rightly so. There's a video posted on here of some people who did light a fire one time on the island across my campsite. 
and three days later it was still smoldering until we called in a helicopter with a fire team to put it out. What a mess that was. Anywho. Well, we wandered through a bunch of trails and uh, I'm not, not really impressed with the Algonquin West trail system. Nothing is marked. The only trail we found marked was the one that was uh, 36, which was the Forestry Tower Road. We wandered through just about everything looking for looking for marks and there was nothing there. So we decided to stop at uh, Tim River. I think this is the uh, first time I've been here where, where I haven't had a canoe. And I don't see any moose. Okay, this is a spot we usually stop along the river anyway, or along the Forestry Tower Road. A nice little waterfall. And it continues on down, down the river. I think the last time I was here it was totally dried up. I can walk back over here without falling on my ass or drowning. 